Hey, good afternoon, good morning. Let's talk about the top facts and myths about Demodex blepharitis. So Demodex mites are tiny ectoparasitic organisms that live on our hair follicles and sebaceous glands of humans, and they feed on oils, bacteria, and skin cells. So number two, there are only two Demodex mites that live on humans. They are called Demodex folliculorum that lives on hair follicles and Demodex brevis that live in sebaceous glands. And these can affect the hairs on our, of our lashes as well as the malbumin glands in our upper and lower lids. So number three, Demodex mites are a normal part of our microbiome, and so they're supposed to be there and they're good to have unless they get overpopulated. And if, but if you have too many of them, they can cause irritation and inflammation that's known as Demodex blepharitis. Number four, Demodex are microscopic in size. They're between 0.2 and 0.4 millimeters in length, and they are transparent, and they're invisible to the naked eye, and they're actually almost impossible to see even with the standard microscopes that we use in the eye clinic. So number five, Demodex have a very short life cycle of only about two to three weeks, and during that period of time they hatch, grow, eat, and reproduce and they are most active at night when they mate, and they will lay their eggs in the hair follicles and in the sebaceous glands. Number six, Demodex are rare in children, but they increase as we get older, and 100% of people over 70 will have Demodex living on their eyelids. Number seven, when Demodex gets overactive or starts to have a party, you're gonna develop something called Demodex blepharitis, which will give you symptoms of irritated, inflamed, red eyelids and on the surface of your eye. They'll cause irritation to your lashes. Your lashes can fall out and you'll develop flakes or collarettes around the base of the eyelashes that kind of looks like that. Number eight, there's a strong association between Demodex and rosacea, and especially the subtype that causes pimples and redness on it. So number nine, Demodex will often cause symptoms that are overlapped with dry eyes. So number 10, Demodex blepharitis will often leave clues in and around your lashes, and they will look like little flakes of dandruff, particularly at the base of lashes where there's a collarette, and that's a hallmark sign of Demodex blepharitis. So next, Demodex are nocturnal, and they're most active at night when they come out and have are active on the surface of the skin, and that's why sometimes your symptoms are worse in the morning. Yeah. So next, Demodex blepharitis is not contagious, so it's gonna be hard to transfer Demodex from one person or from pets to yourself. And the only reason why you'll get Demodex blepharitis is if you have the right environment on your lids and lashes that allows the Demodex mites to thrive. And lastly, there are treatment options for Demodex blepharitis, but they are not the same as those treatment op options for bacterial blepharitis. And if you want to learn a little bit about the treatments for Demodex blepharitis, you need to watch this video right here. And with that, have a good optometry day.